Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iadore, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. In the previous part we attacked uh, uh, a new shard, this time we are attacking Nameless and um, the army we're using this time are lizard men. I asked you about uh, units that you'd like to see for this army and um, overall you kind of like the idea of going with the uh, swamp uh, theme with some uh, swamp creatures or beasts like spiders maybe splash some goblins uh, into it um, I'm not sure about um, about halflings doesn't really fit that well the army maybe you can try something with halflings for the next chart because we have the access to the mercenary guild so yeah, I'm thinking about uh, halfling army I've been thinking about it for quite a while I'm not sure that uh, it's just strong enough for overlord it's, well, we'll see maybe not promising anything but uh, it's possible about our hero yeah I know that um, getting the ex the, the ability uh, for extra experience would be nice I still can't remember the name of the of that uh, ability knowledge probably but I'm not sure. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'd like to get that, but in four levels didn't get a chance to uh, to take it yet. So hopefully it will show up soon. Uh, just basically the plan for this part: just get uh, uh, as uh, much experience as possible. Hopefully also uh, more arm or more slots in the army, so that we can start leveling uh, some new units. And uh, we also have to do something about our economy. I was thinking about uh, uh, building barbarian camp and give uh, some barbarians to the scout to, to at least have a chance in case he gets ambushed but um, with this income probably can't afford to do that yet. Now this is the problem with uh, our position that um, we are not really getting that much from the first ring. I will try um, we can explore, so hopefully we'll be able to get uh, the gold and gems that we need from locations. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll start with um, probably these three and try to get to Astral Energy so that we can uh, attack Battle Mages as well. And that should be quite a lot of gold, especially from Battle Mages. So hopefully it's gonna work. We're gonna start with Adventures. That should be... Oh, Adventures. Yeah, adventures. I think I was thinking about goblins, but in case there are six goblins uh, with like two spitters, that would be annoying. So let's um, go for the guaranteed three-unit army, maximum four units. Um, here you can keep exploring, and um, we can build. Uh, Come on, we can build the school of sorcery immediately. It's 15 gems, so I I probably wait with it until we really need it. Meanwhile, what we can do is get some of the most basic buildings here, like Tavern. Also, we'll have to get Altar at some point, because we need more healers. Maybe Healer will be the next uh, uh, unit that we grab. That's probably a good idea. We don't need that many healers for this army with the Lizard Regeneration, especially later when we get Turtlebacks. But, um, in the end, I think, like, at least three heroes for the army is a good idea. So let's start with the tavern. I'll try to avoid uh, spending gems on buildings for now. Uh, okay, and now we can end the turn. Oh, and we did get four units here. Hmm, shaman can be a problem. Combined with uh, the rest, of course. Oh, I should be able to do this. Do, do, do. I definitely don't want to stand in front of the hill. Let's do something like this. I'm gonna move with Lizard Man so the positioning doesn't really matter that much. Fatigue. It has pretty high resistance. Should be able to do at least something. Wow. And he has double shot. Damn, this guy is gonna be a pain. What is range? Two, four, six. You know what? Let's actually allow him to hit the lizard man. It's gonna hurt. But. Um, 
the double shot is the most effective fatigue we can get right now, so let's do it. Um, you can come a little bit closer. There we go. Was that the curse? Oh, curse is fine. With the shaman, this is actually, or this could be a problem. Um, some fatigue for the halfling as well. Just have to weaken the range units uh, before the dwarf gets into range. Go. Yeah, it's fine now. When he's coming closer, no, go away. Okay, more fatigues. Have to reduce the range damage. Uh, you can now come closer. Take some damage for the team. And I think I'm gonna move closer with the healer. Good. It's gonna hurt. But we can heal that. No bad idea is it to move closer with the dwarf. I think it's fine. We yeah, will even move closer. How much damage can we do with the spark? Uh, nothing. One to four. This is resistance three, but we fit fifteen stamina. Hmm. How many fatigues do we have? Two. This guy's too short, so before the fatigue is effective, he's gonna run out of ammo anyway. Maybe he could do something about the dwarf. Just force him to spend some extra stamina every turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, he has one shot left. Oh, I want to... Actually, do I want to block this tile? Well, I did it already, so... I guess I'm gonna do it. Last shot. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. Okay, so now he ran out of ammo, that's important. Um, hmm. I have to get to the halfling. Yeah, this is what happens when you expect to see three units, and there are four. Okay, good. How much ammo do you have left? No ammo left. Fine. And I should probably also get the wand for the hero. May not seem like a big deal, you know, just buy one building, get the wand, but they are low on gems, and I don't want to spend all the gems on building, you're gonna need them for spells as well. Okay, good. Hmm, this is gonna be resistance, and here forest march could be pretty important for the fights that we have ahead. So let's take it. Order the defender. Nope. Might be good now, but for the late game, I want to have will for victory order. 
Uh, counterattack, Metal for Resilience. No. We are getting the double uh, hit point level ups uh, very often, so hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, survivability that way. And um, Riveted Gloves. Well, it's something for the scout. Okay, please no ambush. Are we ready for the next fight? We are. Uh, adventures again. And how does it look like? Yeah. Kinda have to do this. The extra damage from the hero could be important. Also, with this we can get some extra experience for the hero, give him some last hits. We build... The, let's say we get like 10 gems from the next fight. So that's 50 that we have available. We're gonna be down to 30, down to 15, and then... We'll have just enough for the spells uh, for battle mages. Uh, I hope it's gonna work. Because without spells we can't attack those battle mages, of course. Uh, want. There we go. Can you buy maybe something else? One extra hit point, two extra hit points. Extra stamina. Gold shouldn't be a big problem here. We can invest um, a little bit. Okay, go. Oh, this time only three. And two, four, five. Yeah, this, let's do the same thing. Give him a target. Nope, he's moving. That is bad. He'll be able to hit the healer next turn. Actually, maybe not. Let's play this a bit more aggressively. Should be able to get to the halfling next turn. Uh, you can come closer. There we go. be also nice to get uh, one more medal for our healer. We are healing a lot in every fight and so far no luck. I'll just take some more damage. Maybe one more hit. Okay, what did we get? Tunic. I just bought an armor. Come on. Well, armor. Can't really call this armor, but let's say chest piece. Uh, no, I don't want these medals. So, leather gloves we can sell and light crossbow we can sell as well because I want to use a bow. The reward is decent though. This wasn't the most effective use of the gold. How much did we, did we throw away? Well, 8 gold. Not a big deal. So now... Um, goblins before we attack uh, 
battle mages. Maybe I should have attacked goblins first because um, they're defending windmill that is extra income. Well, that was a small mistake. This means we can get one more building before we have to get the school of sorcery. And I think um, the granary is a good idea to uh, grow our capital faster. That's also some extra income. How does it look like with locations outside the capital, by the way? Here we have two targets. Uh, probably a bad idea. Uh, here we have one fight. Demons also probably not a good idea yet. Okay. So I'm not sure that I want to attack the battle mages yet. What does it look like, the resistance of our units? Well, the hero has resistance 5. Maybe he can be the resistance tank. Healer has 5 as well. Can just move these two forward. Uh, they'd eat the damage from the mages. Maybe we can do it after all. Okay, go. Yeah, this is what I didn't want to see. Also, don't like the terrain. Where are they? To the north. Um, let's slow down Spitter so that we can kill the goblins before we get too many poison stacks. Stay where you are. Okay, one damage or one hit here, two hits here probably, that's fine, I think. What's your range? Four. So we can't attack yet. Oh. Fail. Let's attack. Can't go this way. And then I would uh, allow the goblin to attack the healer. Uh, this might hurt. And there's the poison stack, but we can move the healer. Heal. Uh, do I want to attack? Well, it should be a kill. So it's fine. And make sure that the second spit can't cause any problems. Kill this one and it's fine. There we go. Okay, extra stamina. That was a bad level up. Abandoned temple sounds good. Our cave. Still no ambushes. Wind creatures. Oh, wind creatures is bad. That's way too much breeze damage. But inquisitors. That's something we really should do. I think I'm gonna do that before those battle mages. Just need um, some vaps for that. Thirty-eight gems. Yeah, that's enough. Well, we have to change our spell setup here. Do, do, do. Web, 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 and five fatigues for the support if um, it's like four units. Do you have enough damage to kill? Uh, executioner with three vabs. We don't. We're gonna need four, I think. It's a huge investment into one fight at this point, of course, but I think it's worth it. 
does it look like with the experience? Almost level 5. Three units, that's good. One, two. So we want to fight him on this style. And before he gets in range, I'm gonna weaken the pikeman a little bit. Yeah, no point in using fatigue on the executioner with his uh, stamina. Oh, interesting. Why would you go that way? Hmm. I think I'm gonna block the path of the healer. I'm gonna attack him yet, I have to kill the Executioner first. But this way he can't heal. Maybe he will even attack. Yep. One, two, three. So, Executioner is down. Which means we now can use Fatigue on the Pikeman to avoid unnecessary damage. You can run back. Maybe I should kill the pikeman first. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Come on. There we go. And here is the wisdom. One day I'll remember the name of the ability. Wisdom, wisdom, I'll try. Uh, so that's what we want, and we got the command, which means now we have to get the second healer somehow. Extra stamina, and we'll, oh, we got dark pact. I mean, you don't need dark pact as a spell, but um, it's a decent boost again, both gems and gold. And the, from the fight, it's okayish as well. Nice. Keep exploring. Uh, 82 gold and more importantly 16 gems, that's a really really good loot. Oh, what's next? Spells. Okay, for the next fight or next two fights we definitely don't need four webs. We may need four astral energies in case uh, the mages get too close. They'll somehow have to protect our lizards. And we have enough gold for some more buildings. So healer is next, which means altar. What does it look like with our economy, by the way? Minus 5, plus 4. Why does the crystal has to be 35 gems? Such a long time before it pays for itself. And we don't really need a quest from it. Gold is not a big deal. We could take gems as a reward. But it's a long shot here. We get the wrong quest. It's... I think waste of gems right now. I think I'm gonna ignore it. Yeah, we have more important buildings. Okay, go. do it this way. There's someone on the hill, that's for sure. Sorcerer? No. Okay, 8 resistance. 
resistance has to be enough. Next turn we're gonna buff the healer. And this may be some damage, but not a big deal. And our lizard men are far back, so hopefully they'll just stay where they are. Keep shooting. Good. Good. Oh, how the hell is it possible that he was able to do 40 damage? Okay. And I need a heal now. And... Uh, Rebuff the hero. How much ammo do they have left? Two shots. That's fine. Oh, don't move. Well, the majority of them are now gonna run out of ammo, so it's fine. I think we can. Start moving. Next. And this is why I was hoping they would stay on their side. Because against this resistance, they can do a lot more damage in melee than with their ranged attacks. This looks like a last hit for our hero. How much ammo do you have? Or maybe you can just retreat and take some more damage. Use all the remaining heals and hope for a medal. Maybe even one more heal. There we go. Okay, 16 gems. Really nice. Um, I think first aid. There we go. There's the medal, finally. Don't want this one. Hit point here. What did we get? Extra hit point. Why not? And chaos spawn doesn't give us anything. But still, the reward is decent. Temple of Light. Well, that's gonna be good one for like mid game. I'm not sure that with this army is actually that good. It's a lot of magic damage. I usually like attacking these temples early, but not with army like this. It's an amazing fight for a warrior. We'll see. Okay. Uh, buildings. Now it's time for the Brotherhood of Light. Problem is with the extra healer and uh, the extra metal that we just got. We'll drop to two gems per turn. Just hope that we can live off uh, locations. More battle mages. What does it look like around here? Plus one gem here. No gems and no gems. Uh. Well, I can think about the gem problem off camera. Go. Okay, 
the same thing. Come on, move, do something, shoot. There we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and I hope that um, now they'll stay where they are. Move everything as far as possible. They're still moving, come on. Oh, just do the healer. Okay, then it's fine. I think these two may actually come closer now. Try to attack the hero in melee. Okay, I have to go back. I have to stay in their range, but not in melee range. And these two should be in range of the... Don't move closer! Two, four... How much ammo do you have? Two shots. So I'll just rebuff the hero. Okay, it's fine. Okay, now they're basically out of ammo. Uh, I should have turned the hero. Okay, this should be a kill. Come on, there we go. Maybe one more kill. No, it was enough damage with the counter attack. So we have the invested gems back. That's important. Uh, it's a good question. What do you want to take? I mean, both the range defense and resistance suck. But um, uh, we're already on level 6, so with. Um, some luck, we might be able to get uh, the upgrade to Turtleback soon. And Turtlebacks have decent range defense. So maybe it's better to just stack up some resistance because in the future this problem will solve itself. And um, the loss of illusion, why not? Unholy Shrine. What was that? Unholy Shrine Orcs. We can do that as well. Oh, 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 oh. Do we need the resistance? No, the repair is too expensive. And um, later we will use the glove, but for now it's not necessary. So, orcs gonna be next, and for orcs. All that we need are fatigues, and maybe I'll keep the astral energy. Just keep two, get one, uh, one web. Okay, buildings. I'm gonna wait with more spells. Not really sure which way we'll go with the wizard. Um, all of it can be useful, so I'll have to think really about um, what will be the most effective, um, or which spells will be the most effective. Um, instead, we could try to go after the Trapper's Guild. 
do we need? Maybe We like to wait for the iron and the red wood before we start working on these. Okay, let's go for in so that we have um, at least one guard just in case. And in the next part, I think we're gonna try to get the, our resources and focus on uh, the economy a bit and get closer to Trapper's Guild. So that with the next command, we can get our slug. That's going to help a lot. Okay, sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Today we can probably do one more fight. Yeah, orcs. Go. We are almost done with the capital. Oh, nice, five orcs. 10% to go. How do you want to position now with the extra healer? Okay, the morale is not a problem. So you don't have to worry about the witch doctor at all. Do you guys have forest march? Here is one forest march. You're gonna need the web as well for this, I think. I have to start working on the club thrower. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, crap. Well, maybe it's not the end of the world. The club thrower is just gonna burn some extra ammo. I mean, ammo, stamina, of course. You can heal through this. The reason why I started working on the club throw already is that because he's going to end up on the hill and he can now attack um, our healer, so I don't want the healer to take too much damage. Can we get a kill here? That would be nice. No, we can't. Uh, it kinda sucks. Wanted to get a kill and use the hero for another fatigue. Well, I have to do it this way then. Heal, heal. There we go. He had enough damage, so it's fine. Uh, do you have Forest March? You do. With 8 stamina. I'm just gonna block this tile. I'm gonna weaken this Auric. This is gonna be another self-cast fatigue. Yep. Yeah. So we won't need the web after all. I want to move back with the hero. Probably not necessary. Can't take one hit, not a big deal. 
least some damage that the, the healer can heal, maybe try to get a medal for him. Okay, let's take one more hit. And now we're gonna finish the fight. Okay, now wrong metal again. And nothing else. That's quite disappointing. And the hat might be an upgrade actually. Ooh, adventures. But um, they're gonna completely ignore the scout. So I'll just uh, keep exploring. So anything else? Um, nothing that we can do in the capital. And we have 8% um, to go. So in the next part, I'll have to think about orcs, if we can do it or not. Um, how many orcs can we have here? Up to like 9. We definitely can't kill 9 orcs now. Even if I take uh, 3 more fatigues, it still wouldn't work. And brigands... Again, the tier 2 brigands, then um, they can already have forest knowledge. So the forest wouldn't slow them down. I'm not sure that we can do it. I would really, really like to. It's pretty dangerous. Depends on the exact composition. I mean, this can be this can be 9 orcs and can be, can be also like 6 orcs. And that's a huge difference. Same here. It can be 6 units or it can be 9 units. How close are we to a level up? Quite close. We can just clear these two locations. Then grab the free settlement. Send the wizard to scout what exactly is guarding this province. Then turn around, scout this one. Because we are running out of locations anyway, so we may as well give our scout some more time find us more targets then we can decide how we're gonna progress but we desperately need those resources the discount is um, quite significant on all the economy buildings that we want to build now speaking about buildings we want to build something I don't think so uh, 55 gems Maybe you could get the crystal. Maybe you could grab a school of wizardry and think about some buffs. Wouldn't help us against orcs, probably, but this could help us in the uh, brigand fight. Even magic arrow. Usually I'm not using it, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll I have to think about this off camera. But uh, yeah, most likely just really have to scout first, then then we can uh, decide. I think our next move, no matter what, are these two locations. Don't need the mercenary guild yet. Should be able to take a free settlement quite easily now. And then we'll see uh, about spell setup. This should be fine. So yeah, we have some kind of plan for the next part. I hope that you like this one. And until the next part, have a good time. Bye-bye.